Can AI predict natural disasters before they strike? The future is closer than you think. What if artificial intelligence could predict a devastating earthquake, flood, or wildfire before it even happens? Imagine a world where technology gives us weeks of advance warning instead of hours. This isn't science fiction. It's happening now. In today's video, we'll explore how cutting-edge AI systems are being used to predict natural disasters with shocking accuracy, and which countries are leading this technological revolution to save lives. Join the quest to uncover the latest advancements in artificial intelligence as we delve into the world of natural disaster prediction. From earthquakes to hurricanes, AI is revolutionizing the way we prepare for and respond to Mother Nature's fury. But just how accurate are these predictions? And what are the implications for humanity? In this video, we'll explore the shocking precision of AI in predicting natural disasters and what it means for our future. Buckle up and get ready to have your mind blown. What if I told you that an invisible force is silently scanning our planet, processing seismic whispers beneath the ground, subtle shifts in ocean currents, and unseen heat signatures from above, all to predict when and where catastrophe might strike next? It's not magic, it's artificial intelligence. For decades, natural disasters have caught us off guard. Earthquakes rattling cities awake with no warning. Hurricanes shifting paths overnight. Wildfires devouring towns in hours. Despite all our technology, Doppler radar, seismographs, supercomputers, humanity has mostly been reactive. We wait, we hope, and we respond, often far too late. But that's beginning to change. The old ways are failing. Traditional disaster prediction depends on three things. Historical pattern, what happened before might happen again. Manual analysis, scientists poring over satellite images, graphs, and logs. Localized sensors, ground stations, buoys, wind vanes. It's a patchwork system. Slow, siloed, sometimes outdated the moment it's processed. Earthquakes, often undetectable until the first shake. Floods, misjudged, leading to tragic underpreparation. Wildfires, by the time they're seen from space, are they already out of control? Why are we still relying on methods from the 1980s in a world that moves at gigabytes per second? The rise of predictive intelligence. Scene shifts, a swirling globe covered in pulsing data streams. Cut to deep learning models, supercomputers, rows of real-time dashboards. This is where AI steps in. Not to replace science, but to supercharge it. AI thrives on patterns, but not the obvious ones. It sees connections too complex for the human brain to comprehend. It learns from decades of geological and atmospheric data, live IoT sensors feeding in temperature, vibrations, humidity, high-res satellite imagery updated hourly real-time ocean and wind data. Data, even wildlife migration, and it doesn't sleep. In Tokyo, a deep learning model analyzes microquakes, tiny tremors we usually ignore, but grouped together, they whisper of something bigger. And A, I listened. It runs thousands of simulations per second, adjusts for anomalies, and when the pattern is just right, it pings a warning. Not after, before. This is predictive intelligence, and it's not a theory, it's already happening. Countries leading the AI disaster revolution. Let's take a tour around the globe to see how nations are deploying AI to battle nature's fury. United States, NASA teams up with IBM Watson to analyze massive satellite feeds and weather data. The result? AI predicted wildfire risk zones with 87% accuracy, days in advance. Meanwhile, in Silicon Valley, startup One Concern builds city-specific earthquake models. When tremors hit, their AI instantly maps potential impact zones, helping emergency services target rescue efforts in real time. Japan, long known for its seismic risk, Japan's meteorological agency now uses deep learning to detect subtle seismic waves. In 2023, an AI model there predicted a 6.8 magnitude quake three days in advance, with over 90% confidence. That's not just a technical win, that's time to evacuate. Canada. In British Columbia, edge computing and AI monitor heat signatures, smoke trails, and wind shifts. If the system detects conditions similar to past fire outbreaks, it alerts local teams before the first flame appears. Switzerland. The Alps are beautiful and dangerous. ETA Zurich's AI monitors snowpack density, weather trends, and topography to predict avalanches before they slide. Australia. Bushfires have devastated Aussie towns for decades. Now, a partnership with Google AI feeds thermal satellite data and historical burn paths into a neural net. The result? Early bushfire warnings that give communities a precious window to prepare. United Kingdom. DeepMind, famous for beating world chess champions, is now predicting rain 
rainfall down to the neighborhood level 90 minutes out. It might sound small, you know, but when a flood is coming, 90 minutes is the difference between escape and entrapment. And this is just the beginning. In the next segment, we'll zoom in on one of the most incredible case studies, an AI model that gave Japan three days warning before a major quake. We'll also explore the big question, what stands in the way of a global AI-powered disaster network, challenges, and the future? Still, it's not all smooth tectonic sailing. AI, for all its promise, has limitations that researchers and policymakers must address before global implementation can be realized. One of the primary hurdles? Data in underdeveloped regions or remote mountainous areas. Sensor networks are sparse or non-existent. AI thrives on data, and without it, even the best algorithms fall flat. Think of it like trying to solve a puzzle with half the pieces missing. Then there's model overfitting, a challenge where AI systems become too tailored to past disasters and fail to adapt to novel ones. An earthquake pattern in Japan might look entirely different from one in Chile, yet some early models treated them similarly. The result? Misfires or false alarms. And perhaps the most overlooked obstacle? Communication. What good is an AI system that predicts a flood if local emergency responders don't get the alert in time or don't trust it enough to act? Bridging the gap between prediction and implementation is crucial. This requires not just tech upgrades, but training, infrastructure alignment, and trust building. Despite these challenges, momentum is growing. Countries are starting to think bigger. Instead of isolated systems, the future points toward globally integrated disaster networks. Imagine an orbital fleet of satellites powered by AI continuously analyzing the Earth's surface and atmosphere in real time. These systems, dubbed AI on orbit, are already being prototyped by private space firms and national agencies. Even more ambitious is the rise of quantum-powered AI. Quantum computing offers the ability to process nearly infinite climate variables simultaneously, making long-range disaster forecasting far more feasible. Lastly, we're seeing collaborations blossom. Data sharing agreements between countries, open source AI models for NGOs, and partnerships between private tech companies and governments are forming the backbone of what could soon be a unified global disaster prediction framework. The new normal, AI as our early guardian. As we move forward, the idea that a fire, flood, or earthquake could take us by surprise may soon feel outdated. AI's role is shifting from a futuristic concept to an essential pillar of disaster readiness. Already, cities like San Francisco, Tokyo, and Zurich are integrating AI warnings into public transportation, school closures, and energy grid responses. Researchers are also experimenting with real-time citizen alerts powered by localized AI decision trees. In other words, your phone might soon warn you of a landslide or flash flood based not just on radar, but on AI-calculated personal risk. And with the integration of voice assistants, those warnings could be spoken aloud in your native language, accompanied by evacuation steps tailored to your GPS location. We're not talking about the future anymore, we're talking about the now. AI isn't just a tool for predicting disaster, it's fast becoming the guardian that gives humanity the edge it never had, foresight. And with that foresight comes power, the power to act, the power to adapt, and most importantly, the power to survive. This transformation marks a profound shift in how societies approach safety and survival. No longer are we passive victims waiting for nature's wrath to unfold. Instead, we become active participants in our own protection. The rise of predictive resilience. Natural disasters will never stop, but our helplessness in the face of them can. AI has moved beyond theory. It's no longer just running simulations in labs or appearing in science fiction. It's already watching fault lines, mapping flood zones, detecting wildfires, and sounding the alarm before devastation strikes. From Japan's earthquake forecast to Canada's wildfire alerts, AI is proving that seconds, even days, can now be bought in the fight against nature's fury. But this isn't just about algorithms and servers. It's about shifting our mindset. We must evolve from reacting to disasters to preparing for them with intelligence. AI is giving us a gift foresight. The question is, will we use it wisely? We're entering a world where artificial intelligence isn't just about automation. It's about survival. From Tokyo to Toronto, Zurich to San Francisco, AI is already saving lives. So what do you think? 
Could AI become our most powerful ally against the next big disaster? Tell me in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you want to explore how AI is reshaping medicine, climate, and finance, check out my related videos right here.